Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of a solar uptick this morning. We'll take a look at the storm system causing major problems across the United States and parts of Canada. We've got top stories as well, but we'll start with our star where still the main story of coronal plasma is mostly minor motions and minor surges. We've now got small coronal holes incoming on the eastern limb as well, but we had a small flaring uptick that reached M-class flare range earlier today. Not strong enough to make major CMEs, but finally beginning to bring the X-ray flux up to match the flurry of sunspots we've been getting here. None of these eruptions were aimed at Earth, but the sun appears to still be firing away this morning, so we'll have eyes on that today. Folks, this storm system is a beast. On its north side, it's delivering the highway closing, crash-inducing snowstorms and blizzards, and on the southern convergence, it's got high winds, lightning, and tornadoes. Loss of life is reported on both sides of the storm as of this morning, and it will continue pounding as it moves eastward across the continent. We're transitioning to the science with a look at DEM-L190, a supernova remnant in the Large Magellanic Cloud. In addition to the aesthetic component, there has been discovered a high-energy gamma burst repeater coming from somewhere within the remnant. Shot here is from Hubble. Quick note, we did an interview with America Emboldened two days ago. Link to that podcast is found below. The topics ranged from the sun to climate to catastrophism. We're on to the journals where we find an excellent paper attempting to fix the heat bias in climate models. After their corrections, they found more widespread precipitation events and overall cooler temperatures. The heat bias of climate models has caused everything from overestimated claims about global warming to wildly overblown forecasts of the future warming. And speaking of climate change, Dr. Michael Mann, the world's top climate scientist, allegedly, was in no mood yesterday to have a discussion on facts refuting climate change. He blocked yours truly after about 60 seconds on Twitter. So, later today at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, our second video will break from the Q&A style of the last several weeks and directly address climate science, or the lack of good science therein. We greatly appreciate your support. Come back this afternoon for that special video. Check out the playlists and our bookstore at the links below the video, or book your one-on-one -on -one call with me. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.